Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how I make these animated score videos on YouTube. Now I'm going to be using the Adobe Cloud Suite along with Sibelius to create this video. So the first thing you want to do is open up your score in Sibelius. Head over to File and then go to Export. And we're going to scroll down to the bottom and we are going to change the format, make sure it's MP3. The bitrate, I turn all the way up. The file size will increase the higher your bitrate is, so you can adjust it as needed. But I tend to see the highest quality audio, the higher the bitrate. And I'm just going to find a destination for this and then hit export. Next we're going to go back file, export, and go to PDF. And I'm going to just export the score here. If you have parts for this file, you can also export them as well. So same deal here, let's just choose score and then choose your file name and your destination, and we're just going to export it. Great, let's close out of Sibelius, and I just saved the files to my desktop. Let's open them up, and this is a piano piece I recently just finished. And we are in Adobe Acrobat. This is my preferred PDF viewer, and it has a lot of powerful options, especially for composers, because you can watermark things, you can PDF protect, uh, you can export images, it's basically what we're gonna do next. So. If you go to the sidebar with all the tools, find this green one that says export PDF. Let's go ahead and click on that. And we're gonna go down to image, select JPEG, and click that gear icon. Now you have some advanced options here. Uh, so we're gonna focus on this resolution down at the bottom. So basically the higher your resolution, the more space it's gonna take up. And these files would be really big if you choose one of those higher resolutions. You know, find what works for you and then you can use that. Go ahead and find your destination and then go ahead and hit save. It's going to save each PDF page as a separate JPEG image. And of course, I'm just saving it to my desktop for this tutorial, but I would definitely find a folder for it. Sweet, now we have JPEGs of each page of our PDF. And the next step is we are going to head into Adobe InDesign. Now this is their app that they use for you know, publishing articles. I guess you can use this for books. It's just a good way to format um, pages. So I printed out the piece right here in real paper and this will hopefully help illustrate what I mean. Uh, so we are gonna basically go into Adobe InDesign and take two pages like this and put them together and create one long piece of paper. And this uh, long piece of paper is going to be 11 by 17, so 17 long ways, and then 11 inches uh, tall. And that's basically the size of tabloid paper. If you have giant scores, that's the size of them usually. I'm going to basically use Adobe InDesign to make them one long piece of paper. And basically we're going to pair them up. And then what we're going to do is once we go into Adobe Premiere, where we're going to make the video, uh, we're basically going to take the images of these uh, these pairs of paper and then we're going to uh, sync it up to the music so this is going to be one piece of paper right here for example these two pieces right here uh, once the music goes to the end of this uh, page right here we're gonna go and switch it to the next two pages pieces of paper and I call these print layouts uh, you can call them whatever you want uh, so like pages three and four, once it gets to the end of page four, we're just going to sw swap in the other image of these two next to each other. So that's kind of how it works, and I'll show you how that'll look in Premiere Pro. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to take those images that we've just made, and we're going to drag them in to Adobe InDesign. And as you can see, uh, they just slip right into there. If you align them properly, they'll just snap in at the right place. You can also just you know, adjust those pages, or I guess their images, as needed. And let's just go to the next page and insert those pictures there, and the same deal. So once we have inserted all of our pages for our song, we're going to go ahead and go to File, and then we're going to go to Export. And now we're going to create another PDF of all these pages here. And just find your destination there and hit export. So now if we open that PDF, we have our entire song, but now the pages are next to each other. So that makes it easier. So this is kind of what the viewers are going to see in your score video. 
uh, these two pieces of paper together. I guess you can make a video where it's just one page at a time and it flips that way. For me, I prefer uh, to have two pages next to each other just so you can fit more music. Now that we have our PDF, we're going to do this process again. We're going to create it into images again. This is the last time we're going to do this, so go ahead and save it to your desktop or whatever your destination is. And it's going to save it as a JPEG again. And so this is what it looks like. Now both of the pages are next to each other. And now what we can do is we can finally head into Adobe Premiere Pro. This is the video editing app. We're going to create a new file and make sure to find a good destination for it. And essentially, we're going to place those images of the two pages and we are going to align it to the music. And when the music reaches the end of the page, we are going to swap in the next set of two pages and so on and so on. And you kind of get the idea here. So I accidentally made my last few images really high quality. So it kind of slowed down my computer. Uh, I think they were like 8K resolution or something like crazy like that. So just be careful how big you make these image files and it could slow down your editing process in Adobe Premiere. Uh, and if you need to, you can decrease the resolution uh, to make it run smoother. Uh, so we are going to, again, align all those images to the music. And when the page needs to be turned, just insert the next set of pages. And to make it an animated score video per se, we are going to add a page turn animation. And this could be found in the effects in Adobe Premiere. And this could be found in the video transitions in Adobe Premiere. So go ahead and search page turn. There's also page peel. Uh, just kind of test them out, see what you like. All you do is drag the transition over the break between two of those images, and then you have a page turn. You can also adjust the duration on how long that page turn lasts. So I, I keep it pretty short, about 0.10 seconds. And then once you've done that to all of those transitions, go ahead and export it. You can just do Control M and it will export. Uh, make sure you choose a destination uh, and the correct resolution that you want. And make sure your file size is not too big, especially if you're using giant image files like I accidentally did. And there you go. You have an animated score video that you can throw onto YouTube very easily. I'm not going to cover that part because it's pretty self-explanatory. Just upload that video right away. And there you go. There's all sorts of different ways you can do these score videos. You can do you know, a few measures at a time. You can just do one page at a time. Now, if you want me to cover different you know, ways of doing these score videos, go ahead and leave those in the comments down below. I will check up on those. If you enjoyed this video, I create composing and productivity videos all under the same channel. So if you like that niche topic, go ahead and subscribe. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching and keep writing.